Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So we have here Azure. We're going to be going over a, you know, a gameplay of hers, uh, going over her kit. And um, kind of confused with her. Is she a sniper? Is she a detonator? As for the game, she's a, she's a detonator, but definitely she has skills of a sniper. As you can see there, she has a big gun, so definitely she's going to use it um during gameplay so let's start off with her breakthrough first so i have her at level 40 ascension 3 so don't have much to level her up probably in the next few days or weeks not sure so as for her breakthrough i did only get the one copy of her so she is at breakthrough 2 Okay, so definitely she's going to increase her value at breakthrough three. So equipment, uh, skill. No, no, this is at, yeah, breakthrough three. Uh, she's going to increase her value with this breakthrough. Equipment, skill, enhancement, Azure attacks increases when two surrounding clusters, when within two surrounding clusters of a mirage. So uh, this is where she um, excels well as a as a detonator because that mirage should be should be near her to increase her attack okay so next um you're gonna have great value with her also when you max break through her but this will take a while definitely we're gonna be contented with breakthrough three for this one okay so breakthrough the last one is active skill enhancement increases mirage strike range to two surrounding clusters if the mirage is in a blue tile so this just increases its range going back to her equipment um we are now at level three so the one um stat here that only increases is azure's attack uh, from 8 to 20 at level 10. So definitely um, if you increase her her equipment uh, level, definitely you'll get more power or damage or attack from her. So those are the key inputs on her equipment then for breakthrough. So both basically will will just uh, increase her attack, make her um, a tremendous um dps especially for water water needs really a dps aside from regal um i think she could be um your go-to if you don't have regal like my like me uh, if you have regal she could be your secondary detonator so definitely a must have guys just by her kit alone speaking of her kit let's take a look at her kit and let's uh, try to dissect whether she's she's leaning towards being a sniper or a detonator she's a mix of both for me um she has a very versatile kit being able to do detonator style of attack or sniper style of attack so let's start off with her active skill cooldown is going to be one round it already has preemptive strike choose any of the traversable tile to project a cerulean mirage so the mirage no no more than one serial cerulean mirage can exist on the battlefield at any given time the mirage cannot cast skills when it's covered so definitely don't step on it definitely um your enemy should not step on it because um it cannot really mirror your skill so um placement of the mirage is actually crucial which um next is which can be used to cast mirage strike so mirage strike is deals 200 damage to enemies within 12 tiles in a diamond shape so this one is tremendous damage in itself so this skill can be used like a sniper you place that mirage far away with a bunch of mobs probably on your left side then you can actually trigger this from far away so not only does she, she does she does a job of a sniper but that attack is an aoe attack so definitely a combination between um detonator and sniper so i'll show this later in the gameplay on how to employ this and uh, this one um putting your 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 mirage i'm not gonna say cerule anymore it's it's a tongue twister 
if you put it away, it also um, has other bonuses in terms of your chain combo, which we'll discuss later. Um, next, our Mirage Transformation each round. So converts the tile, it is on to blue. So it has, she has, she's a converter, <laughs> she is a sniper, and she's a detonator all rolled into one. So this one is kind of a bonus actually for her. So each round immediately triggers a Mirage Strike that deals 2.5 damage if there is already a Mirage on the selected tile. So shooting that Mirage, if there's an existing Mirage, shooting it triggers a massive AoE damage. That is her active skill. So placement, then shooting it. Next is going to be her chain combo. So you have um, skill range is going to be uh, from 2, 9, and 12. So definitely at nine, you'll be getting a lot of um, you know a lot of uh, value from her, and also twelve two is just the diamond shape for her, and this is um, deals one sixty five damage to sixteen to tiles, and this is what I mean about Cerulean Mirage casts a tier one chain combo once. So even if this Mirage is in a different area in a map it will also trigger one chain combo um, once you do a chain combo yourself. So basically you can lump, when you do a chain combo, when you do it in a specific area, you can also put that Mirage right near you so that you could lump up all of those AOE or you could put it further where it can hit a group of um, mobs probably in some area of the map where you're not in so again th there's a lot of play within her kit i'll i'll show you guys later she's very versatile and again for her equipment you really need to put her up to um probably uh six or ten just to give her a bit more of value to you now at level i think i have her Let's take a look at her equipment. Now I have rich six, so definitely I'm happy with her damage already. But the goal is to bring her up to ten. Okay, so that is where she comes in. Definitely, you need one copy of her. Let's do um, a gameplay and showcase her skills. Probably some strategy on how to play her. Okay, so we're going to proceed to my. Secret territory. I've been using water since I got her. Um, been enjoying playing water right now. I do have a reliable DPS already. And uh, let's just change my team up. So let's... Um, right now, I am <laughs> I was using uh, lightning earlier, but I do have a water team here. So this is, this is what I've been using so far. So I have Felishai here for healing, Barton for cross converter, Sariel for conversion as well. Fleur here is here for additional damage, and um, Azure is going to be your main DPS for that team. So I'm gonna showcase you guys on um, if the Mirage is near. Definitely, there will be more buffs once um, she attacks. So increase attacks if the Mirage is afar. You can use that Mirage for um, triggering a chain combo or shooting it with your active skill, which releases a big, big amount of damage. So I uh, can't wait to showcase you that. Um, she's very vers versatile and um, probably one uh, top two in my favorite right now, uh, apart from no top three. So you have, I have, um, I have uh, her. Then I have, I forgot her name, um, Hero. And the other one is going to be the, the red guy from, from Fire. But let's, let's go back to her gameplay. Um, so let's, let's try to do a sample which we can do this from afar later. So let's do some tile conversions first. So tile conversions here. Okay, then we'll do Sariel. Okie dokie. Then let's try to put... Uh, 
let's do differentiate this uh, this one. The AOE of this one from let's put it uh, here. No, no, here. Okay, so obviously if you do a combo, it's going to put a chain combo here. I'm just gonna do a chain combo near here. And uh, no, no, I'm gonna be putting this one here because I'm gonna leaving this area. So I'm gonna put a ch okay, this area. Okay, so I'm gonna do a chain combo here. When I leave, then I'm gonna do a chain combo here where I'm going to land at. So let's uh, initiate this. So two ways I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna send this out and gonna leave this here so that the that mirage can trigger a chain combo. Oops. Okay. Okay. So there you go. So. Let's see how this goes. So take a look at the chain combo. You have two sets of chain combos triggering in this area and in this area in the Mirage. So if you want to widen the scope of your chain combo, definitely um, this is one of the strategies that you can do. So as you can see there, if there's a wide range of chain combo, you can occupy basically the whole screen with that chain combo. So that is one way of using her. The other one is shooting this one. So I don't have enough. So I'm gonna gonna just uh, run away first and <laughs> make this guy. As you can see, there another chain combo because I'm so far it triggered here. So not yet. Let's do um let's do another no not that one. Let's just stay in place. Okay. So let's do shoot this. So when you shoot this, you could actually shoot this when they're bunched up beside you or far away from you. So it reaches this guy. So it's really a lot of damage. Especially if you level her up, equipment, breakthroughs, uh, very, very good. Let's just try this out. Okay, so if you want, we could do another showcase. I am not contented with that one. Uh, let's do another showcase wherein uh, we use her more as a detonator. A while, that, that showcase was more for... Um, kind of a sniper usage of uh, Azure. So let's do more detonator type of attacks here. More near to her in terms of damage dealing. Because she really benefits if that Mirage is near her as well. Dealing more damage. She really has a lot of, you know... Um, if you really think about it, she can be... Your sole DPS, you have converters with her healer, probably three converters and one healer or teleporter. That's it. She can really wreak havoc if you build her well. Okay, let's do some conversions here. So... Okay, let's do... One play for her is also to lure all your enemies uh, right beside you. So let's put it there. And let's do some chain combos here. Okay. So if, if you are near that mirage um it also enhances your attack a great deal more damage for azure and also once there if you're gonna lure every you know every opponent towards your area you can actually shoot that mirage so that it can explode and deal damage as well so both as you can see there as well um 
chain combos triggered both for you and for the mirage so right now i'm just gonna wait for them to come to me and see how this goes um i just hope that they don't step on that mirage i'm just gonna wait for for her for her cooldown to or for her skill to be able to give me if i cross this they're gonna die so let's do a go around here okay so i have two more uh enemies here so chain combo kills <laughs> Kills her, obviously. So again, if a bunch of enemies are beside you, you can actually activate this one by shooting it. It uh, You yourself act as a lure in taking out your enemies or a bunch of enemies within that space. Okay, so let's just finish this off. So those are the, the tips that how you can use her. You can act as a lure, lure them. Um, the mirage acts as a bomb. The other one is you could um, you could shoot that mirage for um, some more sniper damage, so that you could maximize your coverage as well as chain combo damage as well. So those are two versions of um, Azure. Basically, you can really um, you know have different play styles with Azure. Um, which are you comfortable or, de or depends on the situation you're in or in the stage you're in. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So hopefully you can, for those who are here, hopefully you could help my channel by subscribing. And thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.